actually did I, I actually did a walkthrough on my Facebook and I realized that everything I said was taken <laughs> out of context and they picked what they wanted to make things trend. You, you sign okay? up for greatness. You sign up for greatness and that counts with it as well. Especially with the anointing that counts um, upon you. Uh, <laughs> so let me help you. Yeah. I'm not I don't run away from criticism. You know me. Yeah, 20, I do. 2009, where were you? Um, were you, you in Ghana, right? 2009. Yep. Yep. The first concert I put together in Ghana. I was there. I was part of the team. <laughs> you remember what happened, I, right? I do. 2009, they said, Sonny Badu said, the knee and gospel music, da 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 yeah. They trolled. I'm, I'm used to this. It comes with a job. I, I have a tough skin for this. But there are certain stages you get to where things need to be done fairly, you know, and um, respectively, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Um, yeah, so I'm an advocate for education because I know that there's no way I want to get to certain levels in life without not being educated. I don't know if you followed my teachings and my preachings. I don't just preach, I teach. I make sure I teach. If it's science, I teach. If it's physics, I teach. Go listen to my messages. And so, if you have mentors and fathers like Dr. Lawrence Tete, Pastor Kinsley at PAJ, Pastor Paul Ade Farrison, and all these top men of God, Archbishop, you have to get things right. And they, they, they mentor you right. You know, Dr. Lawrence Tete is an education and like he would tell you education means everything so i knew that in ministry besides my honorary doctorates i knew that i wanted to, to do certain things for myself you know and um prior to that i'd received in 20, 2014 i can't remember the year my honorary doctorate in divinity of course if you follow my teachings after you read this you would, you would give me more in divinity because the mysteries are decoded in this book. Um, I've been preaching this book for about 10 years. And an honorary doctorate, you have to also prove that you're worth it. You know, it's not... It, it, what, I don't know how people do it elsewhere in Africa. But because before you're given an honorary doctorate, you have to also... Um, put things together and prove that you deserve it. It doesn't come that easy here in America. You, there's a test, there's a thesis, you have to go, you have to write a lot of things to prove that you're worth it. They don't just give it to you if the university is a credible university. So I don't know how it's done in Africa, okay? So, um, yeah, I had that. Then I knew that I, I needed to do something in pertaining my ministry. So I started working on my bachelor's in, um, in, in, in ministry and master's in Christian leadership. Now there's something called field of experts. I, I didn't do bachelor's or I'm not doing bachelor's in, uh, in technology or no, 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 no. Bachelor's in ministry and master's in Christian leadership. Okay. I've been doing ministry and I said already, I'll say it again. Been doing ministry 28 years, sir. And, um, Every experience, I remember when I was dealing with my professor in, in London, every little experience that I went through, uh, he said, it's part of ministry. That is what you have to be, that is what ministry is. So when the opportunity came that I could actually um, do a crush course, okay, for my bachelor's and my um, master's in Christian leadership, Okay, and, and, and the, emphasis, the emphasis is in Christian leadership. Yeah, right. And ministry. Okay. Um, I've been, I've, I've had a band. I've been in music. I've been leading Christian. I've won souls to Christ. I've written books. I can say I'm a role model to a lot of people, not just in Africa, all over the world. Um, it was, it was literally you asking um, um, uh, Messi to, to prove that he can, he's skillful. Literally, you don't need one year, 10 years to, and please, I want this to be quoted well. So, I, 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 you know, I'm very careful yeah. because I have um, my publicist and everybody. You don't need 10 years to tell Messi, show us that you're a good footballer when you give him a football field. It's not tennis they give to Messi, they give him a football field and a, and a football, um, football to prove his worth. Yes, yeah. So, I had that, 
Now, on that day, 2018 in June, when I was given my degree in, in, in ministry and Christian leadership, I was also honored a doctorate in musicology. Now, remember this. This is also around my ministry. <laughs> when we talk about musicology, by the grace of God, and I want this to be said right, I helped the world to discover Africa music from a different perspective. I was the first African to be recorded by Danny Duncan, and everybody took over. Everybody started, I brought excellence to Africa. So receiving an honorary doctorate in musicology, I, I don't think that I went to look for an honorary doctorate or given an honorary doctorate in medicine. Okay, now, <laughs> so in 2018, this is what was given to me, all right? I knew that honorary doctorate was not good enough for me because I'm, I, I'm, if you sit by me, you discover, um, you know, how I'm very passionate about education and everything. E education is everything. And um, so technically, I've been working on my PhD for about seven years because I was working with another university in London um, um, through my professor Damso. And, uh, and, and I, when I came to Rock Hill or when I, I founded Rock Hill and I met Dr. Moore and I realized that he owned, she owned her own um, university and she was very well respected, very well accredited. I was like, okay, let me change. And, okay. you know, start it here. So technically it took me about three years to work on this philosophy, three years. And this okay. was and this was done in the UK or in the US. Um, in the US. In the US. Okay. Okay. So, are you following the the, the trade? Yeah. Then I received my doctorate in philosophy. I'm actually working on my doctorate in in theology now because, um, to whom much is given, much is required. That's number one. Number two, um, you've got to show yourself approved, especially to this new generation. You've got to prove to them that. You're very well educated. And I'm not just educated on paper. Come sit under my ministry. You see that the way and manner, or let's watch me on YouTube. You would realize that I teach differently. I'm able to widen my scope to and, and actually reach out to every kind of person based on my level of education. What also pushed me to go into education is, for some strange reason, Rock Hill has neurologists, engineers, counselors, nurses, doctors. Listen. You cannot go there and every day be laying hands. No, 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 no. Business gurus. No, you can't do that. Mm. So you also have to upgrade yourself, right? So it's it's not somebody walking, holding a document and cannot prove what document they have. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll let you come when I invite you to come and actually interact with Rock Hill members. You don't touch Dr. But you don't touch their father. They, they, they literally have transformed and they appreciate what I do. Rock Hill is 95% Americans, 95% Americans, okay? And they appreciate everything I do. So after I got the philosophy, I was like, okay, now I think after theology, I'm done. Then the university said, based on who you are and what you've done, we want to actually create a new department for you. Ah, my right. guy, you know what they come. <laughs> okay, you so that, that department was, was created basically because of the fact that uh, they wanted to put a, 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 you know, you somewhere you can function because of what you've done in the past and they and believe you could do it. implement everything. So that's the department called the musicology. That means that I have to create everything all over again. So guess what? I'm working alongside Professor Dan, so he's, in, he's one of the top professors in London, to create a whole, you know, a whole new thing in, in that department. I'm not going to mention much until people see it done. Then I'm getting the likes of, of Kwame Eboa, all the African top musicians, so that I can now start bringing the culture of African music, not just African gospel music, but African music, sacred music, spiritual music. Um, I, I have a subject called the mathematics of music, the um, decoding sounds of music. Like there's so many things I'm created, okay? And that was supposed, that is supposed to help Africans even come over and study, which we have the right to do all of that. It's all in the plan. So that was 
the appointment was last year, I think. We're just in this year. So last year, t towards the end of last year, right? Okay. Then last week, I was given my official my official appointment letter that this is your letter congratulations of course people i've seen people say why do you come on social media what no no social media is also now a part of us where you show people what you're doing so i don't understand people saying yeah keep it in your room keep, no 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 i mean i have millions of people following me all over the world if i'm inspiring somebody to be educated it's better than somebody smoking and coming on social media and talking. Mm. It's better than somebody holding onto weed and talking on social media. It, it, I, I, it's better than someone coming on social media to insult and then, it, I, I, I feel that that would have been a better role modelish model for the next generation if I'm showing that I'm in a foreign land, I'm not in Ghana, I'm not in Africa, but this is what I've been able to do.